Oryx is dead. Finally. And it only took me five days to beat him. The raid came out on the day before my move, so I, along with many others, partied up and dove into King's Fall blind. It was the first raid I ran blind, and I have to say it was an experience like no other. If you ever get a chance to run a raid blind, I highly recommend it. The only thing that lessened the experience was the fact that I had to group up with a bunch of random people. Fortunately, that led to unreliable parties and a lot of people leaving. The first few hours I spent with my LFG party were a blast. We all contributed to our success and worked together to figure out the mechanics of each section. It was fun to watch your teammates miss their jumps and plummet to their deaths in a hysteric laughing fit. It served as a fantastic icebreaker for the group since we had all just met. The puzzle before the War Priest was very satisfying to figure out. It took quite a while to figure out, but once we did, we got in a good rhythm and got it done. Once we got into the War Priest room, we spent a few minutes jumping around trying to figure out what all the different runes and plates meant. We did manage to figure out the mechanics and quickly learned that we weren't doing enough DPS to him. Unfortunately, this discouraged a lot of our party members and we started to disband. Luckily, later that day, I happened to find a party that was conveniently at the War Priest, and we took him out in just a couple tries. All in all, the fight wasn't too bad. It's sort of like a reverse Atheon. Instead of protecting you from taking damage, it made it so you could deal damage to the War Priest. Next, of course, was Golgoroth. He definitely took us a few hours, but with each wipe we grew more and more comfortable with our roles. I quickly found my calling as the Gaze Grabber and put my sidearm to work, popping those darn Void Balls. After many, many wipes, we finally took him down. And I earned my first piece of raid gear, Ward Newman's Fists. The next jumping puzzle was an absolute riot. We all try to contain our laughter as each of us discovered the pistons for ourselves. We quickly adapted and put our jumping skills to the test. At the Daughters is where my second group disbanded, and sadly that's all I got to do in the first day. Next time I played was a couple days later, and luckily I was in a pro group that took out the Daughters in one run. Finally came the Big Papa himself. Sadly, I didn't get it done before the reset because I couldn't land a solid group. And I didn't get many chances to try, since I was also in the middle of a move. My frustration turned into satisfaction Tuesday night, as we finally got into a solid raid group and took out Oryx. I got very comfortable at DPS taking out the Ogres. I all but mastered a strategy of standing on the top platforms and taking them out one by one. It was nice to be confident in the rest of my team, knowing that I didn't have to take out the ogres by myself, only get them weak and let the other members of the team take them out. I was also running a Defender Titan with weapons of light just to help us out a little bit better. The Ward of Dawn also helped protect us from ads from the other side of the court. And when it came to taking out adds, Shadow Shot plus Zalor Supercell equaled everyone melting. I really enjoyed the Oryx encounter because it's very quick. However, it does keep you on your feet and you have to know what you're doing. In fact, the whole raid promotes working together and strong communication between teammates. If you don't have strong communication, a part of the fight that might take 5 minutes can take you hours. In summary, King's Fall is a blast. It's the smartest raid to date and I can't wait to get back in and play some more. And that was at least my partially successful attempt at running the King's Fall raid blind. Tell me about your experience with King's Fall in the comments below, especially if you were in a random group as well. 
Drop a like if you can, and subscribe for content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, I'll see you guys starside.